well. So my wife is a going concern. Opening season, she's cowgirl gardener. Good morning, friends. Six o'clock, six in the morning. I noticed yesterday that, uh, actually the day before, that the deer have been nibbling on my plum trees out in the field. Just a little bit of foliage. You could see leaves that were, you know, snipped in half, which, excuse me, is is not the greatest because they're, they're new trees. Uh, I, I don't think they like the taste of it or they would have devoured it, but they did nibble and they did, they did test it. And f trees need leaves for photosynthesis. That's how they live. And, and when the foliage lacks, the tree will throw out food, li food limbs, epicormic or suckers or whatever you want to call it. They, they throw out foliage out of stress and out of survival. And that one plum tree is doing that. I've, I've been watching this plum tree for, well, since we planted it. The other one's done very well, the one on the left. But this one here's, I think it was weak out of the factory, you know, out of the, out of the nursery, so to speak. But anyways, regardless, friends, I want to get straight to the point. Friends, I made this video yesterday. Uh, I had a family reach out to me. I, I've had people reach out to me in the past about wanting a mention, you know, wanting a, a, a mention. They watch the channel. And friends, this is, this is what this channel is about to me, what's coming up in this video. But this has also happened where someone has reached out and then I've done the video and it was fake. They just, it, 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 the world is an interesting place, friends. So I got, I, I read this email yesterday from this family, friends. I read the email. I, I just instantly made the video for them and sent it to them for their young son, Ewan. And, uh, and, and I held on because I remembered that that time that I did that and it was it wasn't even a thing and I and I I, I felt I felt silly I, I did I felt silly I thought ah oh well whatever that's life and moved on but but I but I waited and I and I heard back from him today because I sent them the video just a little two minute video for a message to this young boy that you know is in a place that he maybe didn't think he would be their family is so this is what the, the, the channel is to me. So I just want to send out this quick message, friends. And there, there's a couple other messages in here about the uh, uh, wood bullet, the, the handle that uh, will be, be made. Uh, the bullet's not far off, friends. The wood bullet is, is just around the corner. Um, but other than that, let's get into the video. But it, it's the next day now, and I always like to pop. I don't know why. I don't know why I like to pop in when I'm actually doing the video, which is right now. And I love you people, and thank you for being here. Enjoy. Like she's just, it's, no, it's tax time, right, friends, and all that. And, and of course, my job has changed these days. Uh, we, we are so fortunate, friends, that we worked hard when we were in our younger years. Um, and, and quite honestly, I think we're we're fortunate for you people in our in our lives. I am, and so is she, and so is my family, and and, and hopefully everyone here that comes here. Um, I'm not going to take up much of your time today. Um, I have a few important things t to me. Excuse me, that I want to talk about. Friends, I've been doing this a long time. <laughs> I'm talking YouTube. Never mind all the cutting and, and, and the stuff before to get me to this point in my life. To be able to answer questions for people. And, 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 and now to be able to back. Like friends, I, I've got... A, a, I had a little water in my eyes this morning. I'll be honest, I did. I had a little water in my eyes this morning. And I might get it again now. I got my Ray-Bans on and a Buck and Billy Ray hat and a, portent, and a very important part of the puzzle. And that is this right here. Stand up and buck. Okay. The system that 
that we do here. Uh, hear me when I say this, friends. I can better help serve the people that come here because I've chosen to, not because I have to, because I want to, by using and working with other people. So we become stronger together. My message on this channel is we are stronger together. Not the strong will perish and the, or the strong will, will, will prosper and the weak will perish. No. No, there is no weak to me. There is no weak. We, the strong need to reach out to the weak and, and utilize their strengths. Is how I see it. And weak is just a word. So I, I'm, I'm kind of... I'm just, it's just one of these videos today. I want to thank every single freaking person right now that comes to this channel and supports me and supports this channel and goes to the website, our messengers of kindness, and you all are loved and appreciated more than you know. But guys like Jonesy, Ripsaw, there was a fella, uh, Sizemore Tree Service, I've talked about him. He, he's, I've been kind of tootling him, doing some tutelage with him over the phone over the past, well, since Bunyan. Since last bunion, this guy's been a complete freaking sponge. He quit his corporate. Remember I talked about him there a couple weeks back? He quit his corporate job. He freaking phones me. And Billy LeCount did the same day and said, Bucket, I'm quitting corporate and I'm going full-time tree. Who remembers that? Give me the heck yeah. Okay, so friends, this is just my world. It, 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 the, the power saws and the piling, and that, that's, that's a bonus as far as I'm concerned here. What, what to me is most important is the people. Speaking of people, Young Ewan, I, I, I believe it's Ewan uh, Williams. Well, I'm, not, I'm not sure of the last name, but his name's Ewan. And I'm talking to you, young fella, right now. And I know you're in a place right now that you didn't think you'd be. But I'm going to tell you something, and I told it to you in the video that I sent you. We're going to send you a little package. And, uh, well, I'll, I'll put the video up, buddy. I'll put the video in here. What Friends, we had a young fella reach out to us, and, and his parents and that. And uh, he got some news that w w was not that savory. Let, let's t say it that way. It wasn't that savory. And uh, he has to spend a little time in places maybe he didn't want to. But he's doing it because he's a freaking warrior. 13-year-old kid watching Buck and Billy Ray with his family and collecting axes and power saws and, and, and just, you know, like that. that's what the channel's about to me. Okay, that, that's it. Hey, is that Ewan in there? It's about 8.30, 9 o'clock, you and, and I'm out the back having a slurp on some coffee, young fella. Now, I heard from, uh, I heard from somebody that you were uh, spending a little time in a place that uh, you might not want to be. Young fella, let me tell you something. Your axes and your power saws and working hard and getting barked up and sliced up and cut up, you will find the most peace in that, especially when it benefits others. There's a message coming in. I'm just gonna flick that out of the way so I can see better. Uh, I'm out the back. I got my C and I glasses on you and I hope I'm pronouncing your name right, young fella. Um, you know, I'm, I'm not going to sit here and try and make a big inspirational story for you. You're already a strong young man if you're dealing with power saws and axes. And uh, and you will you will be in the forestry industry. You just will. Because if that's what you want to do now, because when I was a young man, I wasn't the greatest at school, but I loved the woods. And I, and I said to myself, my perfect job would be something in the forest in the fort, but I didn't know it'd be cutting trees down. I honestly didn't. I, I, I would rather it have been just maybe walking through the woods and, and, and somehow making a living doing that while it happened to be with a power saw. So listen to me, young man. I'm so honored that, that you would take time to watch my videos and uh, I'm gonna get your, your address and we're gonna send you a little surprise for you, buddy, okay? Because these are times that build strength and character and don't you forget that, young man. You, you, you are going to come out of this twice as strong, mentally, physically, and spiritually. And you're already connected because you've got good parents and the big fella is always watching, always, no matter what you do. So you do good things and you justify to no one. Okay, buddy?
I love you. Thanks for watching the videos. Work hard, be honest, and be kind. And God's got your back, brother. And you just hold on to that faith. I love you. So, I'm just here today to, to say thank you. That's it. And Liam Hoffman has my handle, the wood bullet handle, the actual wood bullet handle. He's not just selling the ax, friends. He's going to sell the wood bullet handle, okay? Keep an eye open for it. Stay in tune with Liam Hoffman, friends, on his Instagram. You all know who he is. He's the freaking one of the best black, blacksmiths on YouTube. Young kid won the freaking... Uh, forged with fire show when he was like 16 18 i forget i don't know the history but i know he won the show and i know who he is and i've been working with him over the past quite a few months and the kid has impressed the man he's a man he's not a kid has impressed the snotskis right out of me i asked him to make me a wood bullet and, and and we were driving down the island to victoria from here which is about an hour and a half if you're just enjoying the scenery he freaking had one made by hand on the way down there and said like this and i said yes like that don't start me. Don't, you know, I, the guy's a master. He's a freaking master. So the wood bullet's coming, friends, very shortly. I would say within two months, it's going to be for purchase. And the handles are coming sooner. I, I believe he's sending me a wood bullet, complete finished wood bullet here shortly. And I don't want to speak out of turn, but I leave the man alone. I don't, we have an understanding, me and him. So, when I when I come up with these ideas and these products, you think I'm going to go go? No, I need people in my life to, to 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 work with, to support, to help, to build things and bring. Rome wasn't built in the day, friends. Anyways, I'm going off. Do you guys know what I mean? It is freaking hot. It's hot. I'm going to link a video, friends. Uh, I'm going to link a video, um, and, and this will seem strange to you because it, it it's a shout out. There is a shout out to me in the video, but that's not why I'm showing this video. I'm not like that. And you guys know that, but this gentleman has been a sponge since I met him at Bunyan. I've tootled him on the phone, as I mentioned earlier, and I meant tutelage, you know, just helped and, and walked with him on his journey of being a tree man. Uh, he's 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 honing his his climbing right now. He's a he, he's a he's a big man. He's a big man. So his climbing, uh, most big men, um, like he's he's a strong dude. He's you, you see you'll see him in his video. He's he's a big strong guy. Um, this this tree journey is going to change him in ways he never experienced. He's gone full time tree. This guy, it's Sizemore Tree Service, friends, and I'm going to link the video. And I want you to see what I've been teaching. And this man has taken, you know, my teachings, I guess, in a, in a sense, what I've been helping him with, what he's been asking me, and I've given it to him. And he's taken it and he's run. He gave his saw to Ripsaw. If this is a 500 video, he got his 500 back from Ripsaw, but that's not all what he's, he's talking about here. Watch him run this saw. He's running, I believe, a 32-inch bar with a ground chain on it in small wood and big wood. He, this is actually a well-put-together video. And again, it's going to seem like I'm being a grandstanding a bit because there's a there's a shout-out to me in it. And I appreciate that very much, Justin. But it, it's not needed, but it's always nice to hear, obviously. Um, friends, if you're interested in, in what I've been talking about with this saw and what I knew it could do, and its capabilities and the, the thing that I've kind of have griped about it for, watch this video. The link will be in the description or in my freaking somewheres, I'll figure out how to put it in here. I think I'll just link it in the description. Go watch it. I, I'm really, really impressed with Ripsaw, friends. I, 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 I can't say it enough. Every person that has found Ripsaw through me and Ripsaw, I hope you're listening, they get right back to me. They do. They let me know how you were with them, even before they get their saw. This is not a joke to me. I'm very impressed with these boys. So Eric and, and, and Jake and Andrew, boys, well done again. So anyways, friends, I wanted to uh, talk about these handles. I wanted to thank the people that went into the website and freaking picked up our new patched hat. Eric, 
and a few of the other fellas, Gainsies, we got you on the live feed. Uh, we give a few away yesterday on the live feed, but that was such a live feed, such a fun time yesterday. Uh, we're working on some pipes and some different things, but but I just felt so much gratitude today. I'm not even editing this video. I'm throwing it up. I'm sitting out the back. I got the a dentist today. I got some other stuff to do, so I'm not doing much cutting or anything today. I'm healing, and, and we're getting there, friends. We are. We're getting there. I love you people. Listen, friends, I want prayers. And young Ewan, buddy, thank you so much for watching my videos and your, your mom and dad. Thank you for allowing me. Sorry. Thank you for allowing me in your home. Over and out. Work hard, be honest, and be kind to one another. Over and out. Friends, here's that video. I find this the simplest way to do this for you. Here's my buddy, I met him. There's the trees right there. That's his channel. Size more trees tree works. Okay. So I uh just in closing whoever's followed this 500 journey with me. I knew this saw was capable of this. It just needs to be tricked. The saw needs to be tricked with a sharp chain and exhaust a little bit. I, I believe that it needs to be tricked in, into cutting small wood instead of just being at the mercy of load as it is. It's a wonderful saw, friends. I, I, I love this saw. It's just, it has had that. You watch every 500 video out there, the saw does the same thing in small wood, every one of them. Not everybody hears it. I've even, I've even, I've been surprised. I've, I've shared this with other saw men. They're like, friends, not everybody hears what I hear. It's just that simple. They don't, but most do. You can hear it. Uh, that saw's freaking cutting. It's nice to see it be a stand up and buck saw now. That was my gripe. And it looks like we're getting there. This isn't, this is a fantastic saw. I've always known it. Enjoy. See you on the next one.